keep, 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 keep it pyro. Welcome back. It's the Pyro yeah, yeah. Radio, Flip Life Radio Show. Welcoming our special guest, Michael Payne. What's good, brother? Yeah, good, good. It's nice Thank and warm in here. Yeah, man. It's kind of cozy in it and <laughs> cramped in. Last, <laughs> really last, last show, we had like four guests and it was kind of got a bit peaking it. I think yeah, it was the most we've heard. Also, I was sweating in that corner, fam. I feel sorry yeah, for I'm you. I'm about to get my sweat. <laughs> I'm about to remove a layer. Well, so, thanks for coming through, man. No, no problem, yep. man. Thanks for having me. Um, I guess you've seen a bit of what we've just been talking about. What yeah. we kind of try to do on this on this show is we kind of just, we, we have a different topic each time uh-huh. and we bring someone and we kind of get straight into that. Yeah. Um, what's your thoughts on, on what we've been saying? Do you know what? Like, I, I kind of matured when it came to my perception and my opinions on music. And yeah. uh, for like the last decade or so, I've just been like, if I don't like something, then I don't talk about it because promoting something yeah. to someone that you don't like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just going to go and make them try and find out why you don't like it. So you might unwittingly make them a fan of the very thing that you're trying to I, stop. I think, I think that happens all the time. You understand? All so the time. I think, I think, uh, I don't, I don't like, I don't know any like vegans that run into McDonald's and try and stop people from eating at these. Do you know what I mean? So I don't, I've never understood why people yeah. actively go on these con, like these quests to try and stop people listening to certain yeah. genre of music with the the whole mumble rap thing so I am doing it yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, just to kind of illustrate the point I think I, I like the fact that there's so much choice in 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 uh, in like rap street yeah. music whatever you want to call yeah, it yeah, yeah. Uh, I like the fact that there's so much choice it gives yeah. everyone something to, to and do you feel do you feel there is a lot of choice at the moment yeah because like, that's, that's another complaint that keeps coming up in the online discussions of this is that they, these people seem to think the mumble rap is the only thing that's there. Yeah, exactly. And then, oh, that's that's all that we're getting pushed. Yeah, yeah. And I've been yeah. kind of trying to push out to them that yeah, exactly. even in the mainstream, you've got Kendrick and J. Cole. Yeah, they and, need to look harder. You've yeah, got choice yeah. everywhere. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Ch- Chance the Rapper is seen as a bit of an underdog to some people because yeah. he's mad talented, lyrical de- dexterity, mm. all over the gap. He's the one of the best rappers on the planet. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah right. But now. he's not as big as the little Uzi Verts, the, the little Yachties. That in in but the he sort is of in a way. Well, he he is, but he's still I think underrated when it comes to I think the level of his talent. But then he's like the new common. That happened to Common in the generation and, and before. Common he was more that, talented yeah. than Fifty Cent. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like Fifty Cent was the biggest rapper in the world at one point. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, so yeah. it's always going to be the stuff that I think is more just easily more easily digestible than that's yeah. going to be the 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 the, the, the sort of. Yeah. Uh, like pound a penny stuff that you could just get in it but yeah. I, I think everything else will be slightly more like esoteric and people aren't ready to kind of mm. get into people want to turn up nowadays and, 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 and sit lean or whatever the yeah, kids yeah, do yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't Zanics, you can't right? do that to you can't do yeah. that to very uh, like intelligent music you have to do yeah. something that's kind of dumbed down because you're going to be in that state in a bit anyway yeah. you're, you're not trying to like digest stuff when you're like Mm. on Xanax and all that and <laughs> <laughs> are you a fan of any of it yourself um, I wouldn't say I'm a fan but I do understand it's um, mm. I do understand it's place I do know it has a place in music in, yeah. in the spectrum and when it comes on in a club like more time the reaction that I get from music is is the reaction that a lot of people in the club are getting like yeah. when um, like Father Stretch My Hands part two comes on and, and that gospel bit comes on yeah. and everyone just goes yeah, it's yeah. like even if you don't like that song mm. but really and truly first off I don't trust anyone that doesn't like gospel music anyway yeah, <laughs> so yeah. you have no choice but to like that yeah. but some of the like you know even if I didn't like it some of the songs that I realised that I hated mm. I realised that I hated them in a room full of people dancing to that very song so yeah. who am I in, in that aspect yeah. in it yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. I'm one person in a in a room of 250 people that all love a song. I'm I'm 250 and I and I and I don't like it. You understand? So I'm I'm obviously I'm not right or wrong. It's just my opinion. It's just subjective, yeah. innit? I think sure. do you like do what you like, man? Like listen to what you like. So who's your favorite mumble rapper? Oh, I don't know if I've got one. <laughs> really, do you know what? I don't know. If, I don't know if Travis Scott is in the. Uh, Someone put him on the list today. Is that unanimous like, among you lot? Though? But I understand what he's saying. I, I so do I. Mean, I. So yeah. I don't know. I, like, I, went to, I like I went Travis. To, Scott, so do I. I went to see him live at uh, Village Underground. Uh, okay, Nike, Nike had him uh, do like a. I thought it was going to be a short PA, a couple of tunes, but yeah. man, like I think, about I, forty I, minutes and it yeah. was sick. Oh, I yeah, think there's a whole yeah. novel I think that's a separate wave of music to me like the Bryson Tiller it's like mm. an R&B there's a wave yeah, of yeah. R&B music that's kind of 808s and Heartbreak inspired yeah, and yeah. This, tra- this mumble music that they're calling mumble rap is inspired by that same stuff yeah. so, but I feel like it's a bit separate to mm. me but yeah but yeah but someone just put Travis Scott on the yeah. list I asked for 8 because I was like I can't even th- I don't think they can name 8 yeah Yeah. And they yeah put- I don't know if there are 8 I, I, I don't I know. could name 8 I could, I could name maybe <laughs> like 3 or 4 <laughs> <laughs> but you go back to Kid Cudi as well you know yeah. he was doing some yeah, stuff that's exactly. reminiscent of the stuff that's going on nowadays exactly, exactly, you know? yeah. he's a pioneer in that sense I think 
Uh, do you think you classify your music under like a genre or a type or anything? Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's, <clears throat> I'd say it's, I'd say it's rap. Yeah. Because I am, I know the elements of hip hop in it. I, I grew up going to deal real. I know hip hop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I know major players in hip hop. I understand it. You understand. Mm. I also love. Uh, I, I was an indie kid growing up. I've got four sisters and no brothers. So I listen to a hell hell of a lot of R and B. Yeah. yeah, you understand. When you said uh, free O W, and I, that, that's why I was cracking up because I know exactly who you're talking about with the speech impediment. You understand? So, uh, you know what I mean? G growing up in my formative years, th this was the music I listened to. When I deliver lyrics over songs, it's usually rapping. But the music, if you were to take rap lyrics off it, it might you might not you might think, oh, that's that's going to be a band. I bet that's a band that, yeah, that produced yeah, that. Yeah. My whole album, Blame Miss Barkley, is all guitar based music. Mm. You, if you took the rap off, you would you'd be forgiven for thinking that was an indie album. It's pretty fusion. Yeah, like, I'd say. I'd, yeah, I'd yeah. Say yeah. It's kind of a, yeah, it's know, a big, it's a big like. Yeah, it's just a big meaning, mix of mix, all the yeah. stuff that I love. You know, there's R and B on there, there's punk on there, there's ska on there, there's reggae on there, there's yeah. obviously hip hop on there. But it's all kind of um, played by you know, like I said, mainly guitar and bass and like live mm. drums and stuff. Yeah. So. Can you define what you, what? Can you define hip hop? This is something we've been discussing recently on our past shows. Um, I like to go with KRS's definition. Okay. Um, hip hop being something you live and rap being something that you yeah. do. You know, yeah. hip hop's a culture. It's as simple as that. It's it's more than just music. Yeah. Um, and 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 what it was born from, I feel, wasn't the same thing that this like, so-called mumble rap comes from. You know. Okay. Um, I, I feel like hip hop came from you know marginalized disenfranchised people trying to spread a message but also trying to leave behind a life of crime and all that but with the new with with this new sort of mumble rap these kids have been swagged out for time you know they've they've, they've yeah. had, a lot of them have had money you, you know what i mean yeah, yeah, that's yeah, an interesting yeah. point because I've, 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 I've argued against that point that's before it, you get me? Yeah. but yeah that's an interesting point they're all point. coachella favorites you know what i mean they were probably going to coachella before they were performing yeah yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of them even like asap rocky and them. yeah man and what, but not all of them though like <laughs> Chief Keith. Yeah, he's straight road, isn't he? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But them lot, I, I feel like they kind of got left behind. Like that whole Chicago track drill, wave, drill, drill music. Drill music. Mm. I, I don't see none of them no more. Chief Keith is still an icon. On yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like there's true. only one Chief Keith, innit? Um, yeah. I liked Herb and, and Bibby and um, King Louis and them. Ones. Right, yeah. So that's scratching below the surface <laughs> for me, boy. Right? You could be saying anything right now. I know you're going to him, bro. <laughs> You could be mentioning your own brethren. Yeah, 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 yeah. Herb's my brethren for my... <laughs> he lives in North London. Big up, Herb. Yeah. Do, you follow, um, do you follow Battle Rap at all? Yeah, I love Don't Flop. I might be... Go I'm sh I should hopefully be going to Leeds tomorrow. So the Don't oh, Flop yeah. guys are friends of mine. I was, thinking of, we were, I was thinking of doing it as well. We had them on the last show and um, we were asking them if any recording artists they think could actually battle mm. and I think Tony D said yeah Michael Payne is built for this he, yeah he does it based <laughs> on like just my wordplay in general um, yeah yeah and I you know what it is I I, I you know I, I battled a couple of times at Jump Off and stuff um, okay but it was a yeah? different yeah it was a different dynamic it was yeah, yeah, freestyle yeah. off the top yeah yeah of course, of course yeah. Um, and there were people's favourites there innit so you, yeah, you, yeah. you came in as an underdog I think with uh, Don't Flop it's more of a level playing field. And that's what I love about Don't Flop. Yeah, uh, that yeah. I don't think that uh, Jump Off really possessed because you, as as I think as a battle rapper, rapping like, strictly off the top, you are, yes, you are being tested on your lyrical dexterity, but there's also the speed at which you can think of something. And just but you might be, you might destroy a man given three weeks to write about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? And that's why I love Don't Flop because you're hearing stuff that, Wow, I didn't know that went on. People are telling life stories, bro. Yeah, like yeah, and you're airing ring. each other, yeah, out, that's throwing what it each is, other under the bus. You yeah. step into the ring and you're like at jump off, they can make up anything. And if it's funny, then it's cool. That stands, in it. You're the guy that did this according to that guy. Yeah. But the way they lay it out in Don't Flop, it's so articulate mm. and they'd leave no stone unturned. You're, you're hearing about but shit that people's mums got up to and all that. Yeah, part, yeah, of yeah. My, <laughs> part of my language. Oh, yeah. You understand? You're, 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 they're going deep at yeah, Don't that's, sure. that's why I love it. And it is obviously it is um I don't know, it's schadenfreude, isn't it? You're, you're seeing a man get ripped apart there. Yeah, yeah. But the, he knew what he was up against. When he, It's yeah. like watching boxing, isn't it? You know that yeah, both yeah, of them yeah, yeah. knew what they were up against when they stepped into yeah, the yeah, ring. Yeah. So it's cool where anything goes. Would you thing. ever do it? I, I think maybe one day, yeah. But not now. I don't, I don't really have a desire to do it now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I've got... I'm, I'm trying to do other things when it comes to music and I'm not trying to 
spend too much because I, I know I'm, I'm a perfectionist and I'd want mm -hmm. to spend every waking moment perfecting my bars for someone if I was going to battle yeah. so that would mean if I had like three weeks till I was going to battle them that would literally mean three weeks are right off you know what I mean I'm yeah. not even like you know what I mean it, it, I just I yeah, don't know yeah, if I could yeah. do that that's a holiday yeah. that's a full it's, it's holiday working. they put a yeah. lot of work into them absolutely. long long rounds man absolutely mm, I know exactly what you mean it's just like yeah. too much pressure mm. it's like has to be perfect mm. yeah. also Tony D was like yeah I'm going to spend this whole week writing but then I'm going to start again the week before yeah he uh, was yeah. talking like he's going to leave the last round to the last minute and mm, all of yeah. that though Tony D's my favourite battle rapper ever I yeah, just yeah wanna, ever I put that out there yeah. wow no, he's, like, dope. Genuinely he's crazy ever. though and it's you know you know people might be like oh yeah what about battle rappers of you know like I don't know like legendary battle rappers and I, I don't care about that because yeah, yeah. it's just who you kind of gravitate to he's a friend of mine and, and even before oh, he was a friend of mine I was a massive fan of his Yeah, yeah. Um, even from Poisonous Poets yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. seeing him battle is just nice. it's just yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. I get this feeling like I know that guy and he's killing it you understand yeah, definitely. he's my favourite yeah. battle rapper of all time sick man Yeah. I watched the interview of yours yesterday um, and uh, you were saying they were saying, oh, what questions do you not want to get asked and you're saying, I don't, um, or, or you get bored of being asked. And it was like, um, working with Ed Sheeran. What's it like to work with Ed Sheeran? Mm. So I'm going to ask you, what's it like to work with Giggs? Oh, man, it's amazing. <laughs> Giggs is another one of my favourite rappers. So I've been a fan of Giggs for years. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we had we had uh, a collaboration in the pipeline for, or we were talking about it for a good two or three years before it actually happened. Yeah, because he's very particular. Yeah, he's yeah. not only very particular about the, the beat, he's particular about the concept, and he's also yeah. particular about who else is on the track. So it's very yeah. rare that you'll see gigs on the tune with two other people. Yeah. It will always be him and someone else. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah. So, um, you know, every single, like, you know, at first when, you know, we were trying to figure out what tune we were going to do, there yeah. were all these hurdles that I had to pass, you know, these tests that I had to kind of <laughs> yeah, pass yeah. with it. And then when we finally got the the, the, the producer that we were going to work with, it was it was on Let Him See EP. So the whole thing was produced by The Last Skeptic. He I came through, so. absolute gentleman, like, you know, even brought some brandy and just, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. He, he knows studio etiquette and all that. He's yeah, a yeah. Good, good dude, man. And like, he... He, he just like, I was writing away because that's how I, I, I literally just write my verse. Yeah. I, you know, I don't disturb anyone, no one disturbs me. I just write my verse. But Giggs will just think of everything in his head and like record like two two bars and then oh, okay, so he does the, the, and the, then go the uh, four bars. The Jay-Z method yeah. and that. And it's nang watching yeah. someone work like that because yeah, I've yeah. never really, all everyone I've worked with up until then has just written in the traditional way. Yeah. yeah. You understand? So seeing someone do that with that techers, yeah. it was like an eye opener. And I was thinking to myself like, Oh, imagine if, if I, I imagine if I could do that, but I don't think I ever could because I'm such a I'm so pedantic when it comes to stuff. Yeah, yeah. I need to be able to review everything, so yeah, it, there yeah, needs yeah. to be a record of it for me yeah, to yeah, actually yeah. like review and change a little word. Yeah, yeah. There should try it though, man. Try it. Yeah, I might do it. Yeah, one yeah. Day. I, 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 mean? thought, I thought the same thing. I did it once mm. for eight bars in a, in a foreign beggars. I don't know if you was there. It was in a foreign beggars studio session yeah. and there's loads of rappers all of there. Yeah. And there was just there weren't enough pens. So I worked out at eight bars mm. and <laughs> went in. Fair play. <laughs> That's the only time I ever tried yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ten rappers, one pen. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible video. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a listener that wanted to ask a question. Um, uh? Sean Dean, shout out to Sean Dean. Um, so he said, uh, what's your advice for MCs crafting a lane of their own and who don't really like fit in, necessarily fit in stay in it man and because i am i without sounding arrogant i i am in a lane of my own i suppose and that doesn't i'm not kind of alluding to the quality of my stuff mm. i just i think about different things to, to to other people and that and that's what i express so stay in it and people if they feel it will come like i've i've worked with you know yes ed sheeran yeah. but i've worked with gigs i've worked yeah, with yeah. g fresh i've worked with paloma faith i've yeah. worked with newton faulkner i've worked mm. with um who else like just there's just such a vast yeah. array of people that if you i think if you stick to your guns and you genuinely have talent and believe in it then people might gravitate to you it's as simple as that so i'll just say stay in your lane if you've carved it out which was your favorite collaboration hmm it'd either be it'd have to be either gigs start again or heart and soul with paloma faith okay reason that because that song is about sex and sneakers you understand <laughs> and there, there's no, I can't think of anything better than, than, no, than two things, I understand. Yeah, no, so, no, no, no. And Paloma, question. like, she's mad safe. She was proper yeah, safe. Yeah. She, she was, like, yeah, working yeah. on her sophomore album at the time and okay. she took the time out to come and 
to Surrey to record because I was recording all my stuff in Surrey at the time. Oh, and even cool. example as well, like he he, he I worked with him. He come out to the studio yeah, when yeah. he was on tour. He was doing an arena tour. Yeah, my man still came out all the way to Surrey. So, so all the collaborations happened like in the room together. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh. I think there's only been, I think in, in my whole career, I've done one collaboration with someone where we haven't been in the same room and that was with Timo Maas, the uh, German uh, dance producer because okay. he was in Germany and, you know, <laughs> yeah. but even with the shoes they, they I did a tune with them for their album uh, Chemicals and they came over to London and we just we, we did it in the uh, premises studios in Hackney so even if someone's across the world like they, they if, when they're over here that's when I'll they, that's you know you we'll do a tune. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay and tell us why you punched you and Blair in the face because he was a <laughs> <laughs> am, I to, am I allowed to swear? We kind of avoid the swearing, right. but yeah, we can. He's a muppet, isn't it? He's a muppet. He's a muppet. Yeah. He, uh, I can't remember exactly what he said to me, but he just said something really offensive to me after rugby. <laughs> you know I mean? So everyone's amped up already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already muddy. I'm, I ain't got my uniform on. Yeah, we can scrap. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. And then I think he went. He, he told a couple people that that we had a fight and that he won. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Then so, one's there. But, yeah. By the way. Hey, this is Tony Blair's son we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Oh, where, so where was Tony Blair in his political career at the time? At the time he was Prime Minister. He was Prime Minister yeah, at yeah. the time. Oh, so wow. I, knew, wow. I, knew, I knew you and while Tony Blair was leader of the opposition, yeah. it was mad safe. We used to come, like, like you and you used to live in Canterbury. Okay. okay. Like we were boys, we used to come home from oh, school yeah, together, everything. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, corner, them yeah. So we used to get on the, um, we used to get on the district line from Fulham Broadway uh, to Victoria, I get on the Victoria line uh, from Victoria to Highbury and Islington and before the overground existed we just get National Rail innit yeah, yeah, yeah. from Highbury and Islington I'd get off at Dalston Kingsland and yeah. he'd get off at Canterbury you understand we were boys you but then his dad his dad got is into this, 10 down the street and all of a sudden he was skanging out on man like, bro what he tried to get bread off yeah, he, got, yeah. he got gassed up <laughs> yeah, really. on my dad's prime minister yeah. fam and, and you thought boy that ain't gonna stop me nah, you know nah, not at all. <laughs> I don't even like politicians you understand <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah no, for real they must, I would have felt an extra a certain pride in it just of who his dad was yeah, I can't lie absolutely this is before the invasion of Iraq right this was yeah so Would I thought when it, when it all happened I thought I got my revenge <laughs> in Detroit yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I was thinking was this is for Iraq you little twerk <laughs> it was definitely pre I should be a politician I know I know when to, to, to <laughs> you saw Loki it coming yeah I'm going to tell you know Loki I mean? to come give you a smud I heard it from Iraq I, like, I love Loki Loki's like he, mm. he he is like for me, he was the reason that I pursued, like carried on rapping. I remember, like, you know, Deal Real days, there were yeah, legends sick. there. Yeah, Skinny yeah. Man was there all the time. Yeah, yeah. Low Key was there all the time. Dot Brown. Um, and yeah, all yeah. these people I massively, sick. massively looked up to. You yeah, understand? Man. I'm from that generation. This is the yeah, thing. Yeah, I yeah. might exist in this sort of generation now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. But like, I, I think I can hear teeth. that. I can hear that a bit. Yeah, in, like, I cut in, my in teeth at Deal Real. There's no yeah. doubt about it. I used to bunk uni to come to that. Yeah, so. Yeah. Loki was a guy I looked up to, and one with the day when Loki told me that he rated me as an MC, that was when I when I thought, right, you're a Nang MC. If Loki <laughs> says you're a Nang MC, <laughs> yeah, you're a Nang yeah, MC, yeah. and there's no, there's nothing anyone else can tell you. It's yeah, as man. Real, as that. Real. Yeah, man. What's the latest project you got going on then at the moment? At the moment, uh, so I just put out a double A side. Um, what? When did I put it out? September. Uh, okay. called Dirty Food and Comfortably Poor. Cool. Um, I'm working on an, a second album. <laughs> okay. I'm um, going to call it The Night Elm on Mare Street. Okay. <laughs> 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 Woo! Night, Night Elm on Mare Street. Mare Street's in Hackney, by the way. Mm. Mare Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I live on Mare Street. Okay, I might be exposing sick. myself. It's quite a long road, isn't it? No, yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah, long it's a long road. You want to come find me, you know? <laughs> it's a mile. But it's not that long. It, then it, it becomes Cambridge Heath It road. does, yeah. Right I live at the very end of it. Yeah. Right, you just gave away the part. Yeah, cool, cool. E9, E9, all day. Do you know, I'm I'm E8. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Bang bang. Well, are you, are you two, are you two, are you two ops? No, no, I've got no ops. I've got <laughs> no ops. That's the thing. Hey, Jazz Kahina's Michael Pagan, P- 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 you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, if I catch you on an op block. <laughs> oh, so cool, you're, wor- you're working on that. Um, yeah, when, yeah. Any and idea managing, when? managing a few artists as well. Okay, uh, cool. I manage an R&B uh, singer called Alana Verde. She's amazing. Okay. Um, I manage a, a young MC who I grew up with. He was like one of the youngest when I was growing up in, on the Beauvoir estate. Yeah. And uh, his name's Skinny Malone. I manage him and okay. I just started managing a, another singer called Iris Gold she's from Norway Wicked, wicked and have they got the music out there all these yeah, people yeah, that yeah. Been I, Iris, Iris is, is amazing she's already been like uh, one of Zane Lowe's hottest records in the world before oh, and stuff. yeah so she's she's kind of 
along the path in her career. Cool. Um, the, the other two are like super new. Well, Alana, Alana's super new. Skinny's been doing his stuff for time, yeah. um, but he's like really kind of taking it seriously and uh, under the sort of uh, auspices of myself and uh, uh, Jay Dragon, uh, we're both co-managing him and we're just kind of steering him in the right direction and, and, and cool, mentoring cool. him and keeping letting him know that it's not every day you know put up stuff on on youtube like sometimes sign up to prs as well you know what i mean do, yeah, yeah, do yeah, the yeah. admin in it keep your keep your house in order and mm -hmm. so we're giving him the kind of little not industry but the stuff that you need to do to yeah, thrive in the, in the yeah. industry if, you know, lot, when man. you get into it you, you have to even if you're independent you're still in the industry yeah it's the yeah. buying and selling the music, yeah yeah and you gotta you know where them checks are to That's collect and all of that man trust exactly. me it's, they're out there do you do it because you believe in the artists and you just want to get them yeah. to where you think they can get absolutely to? i think yeah. they'll i think I, I genuinely wouldn't manage an artist who i didn't think could be bigger than than i yeah. I, I ever could be do you, think, okay, okay. Think do you think you would step back from your own music at some point and I think I already have in a way I yeah. used to I used to but if you look at like chronologically my the level of output from yeah. I don't know when I put my first EP out it must be like 2006 or something okay, under Michael yeah. Payne I used to put out you know four bodies of work a year sometimes you know yeah, this yeah, year I sick. put out like two yeah. you know and it's nearly ended and there's long spaces between but you know I'm, I'm into so many other things now you know so there's not I don't have time to be in the studio or writing yeah. all the time do you think you're ever going to stop? no I don't think I'll ever fully stop it will never yeah. ground to a halt but it will it, and it already has it, it, it will start to trickle rather than okay. flow at least you're honest that you'll never stop no I never never stop they're going to stop one day fake but retirement how, and that yeah how can you say you're going to stop I don't understand <laughs> yeah. how people can see into the future like that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know for real what do you think about the new Hackney um, the J Spades and the coins and the I'm oh. a fan of J Spades man yeah, I, yeah. I tweeted to him to be like you know what I think I might be one of your biggest fans now <laughs> like, yeah. I, I don't know like again like I said Growing up, what 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 Dill Real taught me was that when I used to do the open mic, we used to look out for the bars. It was as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, the production was boom bap. You know, when yeah. you picked a beat, if you weren't picking murder or, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or a primo beat, no one really rated. No one really cared, didn't it? Yeah, like yeah, it was yeah. the MCs. Maybe some havoc or Rizza. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, you, you know, in, in, mm -hmm. some, some gully. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Something yeah. gully at about ninety BPM. You would, you would flex it, in it. <laughs> But um, then, uh, like I said, when when deal rule like sort of closed down and everyone kind of had to go and do regular stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember. I remember. <laughs> like, it all kind of it changed for me, and, and I realised that you can like a song, you can like a rap song, especially for yeah. something other than the lyrical dexterity of the MC. Yeah. Um, and I realised that there were some MCs who were nang, like it was really good lyrically, but I just didn't like them for some reason, yeah. and I preferred mm. MCs who weren't as as good as them lyrically, you know. One of my favorite uh, all-time lyric uh, MCs is uh, Prodigy from Mob Deep. He's not, oh, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's not as but, strong but he, lyrically as say um, a Common or, a, yeah. or but, even a Pun or someone. But he's, but he's sick. A poet, though, in a way, like, yeah, the know. way he delivers it, it's, and his, yeah. voice, his, his voice, voice is great crazy, as well. One of the best you know? So I think there are different aspects uh, as to why you will like yeah, uh, an MC, and, and I think you should embrace that and not be too much of a purist and go, oh. He, he didn't he didn't like it weren't like an ultra syllabic yeah, yeah. couplet you know what i mean so i'm yeah. not gonna rap that you know what i mean <laughs> yeah because there's there's monosyllabic and there's multi-syllabic and then the next one's ultra syllabic you know and yeah, yeah. See, i didn't even i didn't I, even know that and i know these guys in the in the forum don't know that either because they'd be talking about they only know multi that's as far as they yeah, go yeah yeah there's, so there's some know, people that michael payne just schooled you lot on there something are, man there are men that are just <laughs> rhyming every syllable <laughs> every yeah. syllable they're rhyming it you understand yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. for me that's ultra syllabic rhyming yeah. you know what i mean ultra syllabic yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna start using that in the group yeah that's gonna that's gonna be a trend it's coming it's coming <laughs> so the, um you got the double a side single out now I where have, can people yeah. get that from uh, that's on spotify itunes apple music um even like some of the le lesser used ones like google play I okay think yeah google called. play yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah all the all the all the sort of digital platforms it's, it's out there man. all right well make sure you look we'll hit that up it's pyroradio.com should we play one of these records which one should we play um up to you I, uh, dirty food is is kind of hard still i think that 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 sits in well with uh with your ethos man yeah yeah all right let's set this one off it's michael payne dirty food make sure you go pick this up one love for coming down brother no worries man pyroradio.com keep, keep, keep it pyro